Welcome to Design Lab Builds, a new series where we tell you all about projects we're building at Supply Frames Design Lab that'll hopefully provide some inspiration to your entries for this year's Hackaday Prize. I'm your host, Magenta Strongheart, and today I'm joined by Bruce Dominguez, our rapid prototyping technician. Today we're going to tell you all about this awesome heat press we've been developing based off of the open source precious plastic recycling machines. Before we get too far into the press though, we need some material. So let's head over to our 3D printers. As part of our work here at the lab, we produce a lot of prototypes, which means a lot of iterations along the way that may or may not get used. So we can take our discarded 3D prints, predominantly PLA, a very common filament, and grind them down into finer shredded bits. So we actually have some discarded prints here that we can give you a brief demo with this shredder that we've hacked. It's just a common credit card shredder that we've hacked to make a little easier to put more material in all at once. Ah! ASMR. <laughs> now that we've got our shredded plastic, let's head back to the press. We've preheated the press, and now we're going to walk you through a quick demo of how the heat press operates. Bruce is going to go ahead and pull out our full roll, thinner sheets of steel here that are acting as a sort of liner and tray for our material. We're going to spray some mold release, which will help our plastic come off cleanly once it's cooled. This is just a simple frame we've built here at the lab. And now we're going to load our plastic. Remember you want to sort of overfill so that you have enough to squish down into that form. And now we're ready to put this plastic steel sandwich back into our press. Here's some samples of what we pulled off the heat press. It's an awesome solid plastic that can now be milled, machined, drilled into or cut apart and turned into potential prototypes of future electronics enclosures or any number of projects or products moving forward. This is a way to incorporate circular thinking and circular design into our shop space and material use and we're really excited to see what you all might do with a process like this in your space or your project workflow. Oftentimes when working on prototypes, as we mentioned before, you have several iterations that don't really get used, so there's really no reason to start with brand new raw material if you don't have to. Challenge number two of Hackaday Prize 2022 is reuse, recycle, and revamp. So we hope this tool has provided you with some ideas of ways you might incorporate circularity into your project workflow or some examples of something you might enter into the prize. What's awesome about open source is that all these files are online. You can look for an in-depth description and step-by-step -step instructions for how to build a machine like this yourself on Hackaday IO. And be sure to check out what everyone else is doing in the community online. There's a number of open source projects that have to do with the recycling and recycling tools and machines. So be sure to tap into those resources. Stay tuned for future episodes and check us out on social media, any channel for Design Lab, Hackaday, or Supply Frame, you'll find out more about the prize and what you might be able to win.